Hey, this is Chew Slices Concessions, and today we're looking at the Taylor 490, and we're going to be showing you how to adjust the viscosity of your milkshakes. We'll see you in a minute. All right, so. Taylor has different ways of adjusting their products. So in the 700 series, you're used to adjusting a uh, touchpad in the front of the machine. In the 490 series, you actually have to access the control box to be able to adjust your viscosity of your milkshake. To do this, you're gonna need a flathead and having a 5 16 drive is also very helpful. So let's get this panel off and we're gonna, we're gonna show you how to get to it. All right, now let's take a closer look at these controls. With the panel off, you can see the control boards of the 490. Remember, you're dealing with live electricity, and if you're not comfortable with this, please get a professional to do this. So we will focus in on this board right here. For the 490, the viscosity adjustments will be this blue box right here. If you look on the side very closely, you will see that the top box has THKR for thicker, clock going clockwise, and going counterclockwise will make the product thinner. Remember to always adjust from thinner to thicker as getting colder will be easier than trying to get warmer in this machine. To make these adjustments, you will need a very small, fine flathead. All right, now we got our flathead right here. This is what we're gonna use for our adjustment, all right? So before we go to actually adjusting the product, um, we're gonna give you a rough guideline of what you're gonna be doing. So like I mentioned earlier, you will you should be adjusting from warmer to colder because you know this machine freezes, but it doesn't exactly defrost. So we will usually be moving from a softer product to a harder product. Um, it will take a couple of rotations usually to get to where you need to be and between each rotation, or as we call it an adjustment, you will cycle the machine to see if, if the product got any harder. Um, and you'll, like I said before, it will take a couple of adjustments to get where you need to be. Uh, let's get a little closer to these dials so we can see exactly what we're looking at, okay? So let's zoom in right here. So as you see right here, this will be the dial that will be adjusted. So we're gonna take the flathead right here, push it in, a little notch, and turn it about one rotation. And after you do that, what you're going to want to do is come back, come to the lever here, and you're going to just pull that up like that and let the compressor kick on, and it's going to cycle until it hits that new setting. Hear that? Compressor's running. Alright, there it goes. That's your first cycle. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull one product, one cup of product, and see how it goes. Alright, here we go. So you see right now, the product looks like this. 
Some may like their milkshakes a little thicker, a little thinner. If this is a little too thin for you, then we're just gotta go back and adjust it one more time. All right, let's repeat that, and uh, we'll show you a colder product in a moment. All right, so after adjusting that knob a couple of times, let's see how this product comes out a lot thicker than it did before. So you can see, compared to the last one we did, this definitely has a lot more body to this milkshake than the previous one we did before all the adjustments. Well, thanks for tuning in with us on this video on how to adjust the viscosity on your milkshake machine on the Taylor 490. We hope it was helpful for you. And for any more information or tutorials on ice cream machines, please check us out at slicesconcessions.com. Hope to see you soon.